Welcome to Lone Star College Montgomery's Microbiology Lab. The purpose of this video is to familiarize you with our lab and some of the protocols that we use to work safely in our lab. On our campus, the Microbiology Lecture Room, B223, and our laboratory, B224, are adjoining rooms. There are three doors in the lab, one from the classroom, one from the hallway, and one from the prep room. Students are not allowed to use the prep room door. We typically enter our lab through the classroom door because we leave all of our belongings in the classroom while we're working in the lab. The door to the classroom from the hall is locked while we're in lab, so your belongings are safe in the classroom. As you can see from the layout, there are six pods in the lab plus the instructor's desk. Each pod has room for four students to work. Lab partners share a drawer at their pod. Let's start our tour of the lab by locating all of our safety equipment. The fire blanket, shower, eye wash station, and broken glass disposal boxes are all near the prep room door. If you break something glass that is not contaminated with bacteria, you should sweep it up and dispose of it in one of those boxes. If you break something glass with bacteria in it, then you'll need to notify your instructor for advice about cleanup. The fire extinguisher is on the back wall. The first aid kit is in the instructor's desk. And the emergency gas shutoff button is near the whiteboard at the front of the room, as is our goggle cabinet. If you have not already read the student safety agreement provided by your instructor, be sure to do so before your first lab. If you have questions about any of the items on that list, be sure that you address them with your professor. As you review that form, you're going to notice a heavy emphasis on safety. We work with chemicals, fire, gas, electricity, and live microbes in this lab so safety is of utmost importance. Most of the microorganisms we work with are BSL-1, but some of our experiments use BSL-2 organisms. If you are not familiar with the BSL ratings and the proper lab precautions for handling microbes at the different levels, be sure that you read this important safety information in your lab manual before your first lab. No matter what organisms we're working with, at the Montgomery campus, we require students to wear lab coats. You should bring one that fits you and a bag to store it in your lab drawer. Your instructor may prefer that you wear gloves during labs. These should also be the correct size and can be stored in your lab drawer. If your instructor does not require gloves, please bring a few pair anyway, just in case. If you have a cut or an abrasion, you're going to need them until it heals. Proper waste handling is essential in the microbiology lab. This is for your safety, but also for the safety of your classmates, the instructor, the lab prep staff, and the college custodians. Waste must be handled correctly every time. All used test tubes must be placed in the use tubes here areas that you'll see on the side counters. These should be separated, as indicated, into broth or auger waste. All used petri dishes are disposed of in the large biosafety buckets on the side counters. All small contaminated items, such as cotton swabs, disposable inoculating loops, and pipette tips, can go in the small biohazard bags that'll be at your pod. Used slides are disposed of in the bleach beakers at your pod. Items that have not been contaminated with microbes, such as wrappers and paper towels, can just go in the regular trash. When in doubt, a reference list is kept on the whiteboard, or you can ask your instructor. When you walk into the lab, the very first thing you should do is thoroughly wash your hands. This is to reduce the risk of contaminating your experiment with outside microbes. Next, if your class is using an electronic lab manual, 
place your digital device, your phone or your tablet, in a baggie provided in the lab or wrap it in the plastic wrap that's provided. Then don your lab coat and your gloves. Next, disinfect your workstation as directed by your professor. Gather up all your equipment and proceed with the lab. If you have inoculated brand new cultures, be sure that you put those in the incubator assigned to your class. When you have completed the lab, return and properly store the equipment, properly dispose of all the waste, then disinfect your workspace. If you have been using a phone or a tablet, use alcohol on a paper towel to wipe down the plastic wrap or the baggie. Next, remove your gloves and dispose of them in the large biohazard bags on the side counter. Then remove your lab coat and store it in your drawer. Next, lock that drawer. Now you will need to thoroughly wash your hands again. And lastly, remove that electronic device from the baggie or plastic wrap and dispose of the wrap in the regular trash. To prepare for your first day of lab, you should read the Lone Star College Montgomery Student Safety Agreement and read the lab manual safety information, particularly about those BSL ratings. It is also a really good idea to watch videos about proper hand washing and how to correctly don and doff your gloves. These skills are essential in the micro lab, but they are also essential for those of you going into healthcare. So you should make proper hand hygiene a good habit. We truly hope you enjoy your microbiology lab experience and that you find these labs relevant to your career and your everyday life. Work safe and enjoy the course.